So uh, I think you have seen uh, there's some repetitive slides. So I'll go very, very um, briefly through the ones that have been seen already, and uh, um, then we will go to the to sort of the the key issue. This is being all presented, so there is no need for me to to uh, to repeat. You have seen the results of the studies. Um, we all know the the difficulties in treating a, a pancreatic cancer, and uh, considering a treatment that likely will have an effect in a localized a tumor. Um, if we consider pancreas cancer, the, the uh, most uh, uh, appropriate stage will be patients with locally advanced, uh, locally advanced disease. And this is the, the patient population that we would like to, to, uh, to consider. So I think this is the, the, key, the key designed uh, key issues at, at, at the moment. And what I would like is to go uh, slowly one by one and, and comment and and discuss. The idea would be to take patients with locally advanced uh, disease that are non-operable. We would exclude patients with resectable disease or borderline resectable disease, so we truly locally advanced disease patients. These patients are currently managed with chemotherapy, for sure, and um, there is uh, still a debate of what to do with them after a, a few courses of chemotherapy. So two areas to define is what is chemotherapy, which chemotherapy we would use, and the second issue is um, what would be a reasonable uh, time frame to administer that chemotherapy. What we have been thinking is using um, gencytamine abraxin, but this is something that we can discuss and, and um, comment about and administer that treatment for uh, four months. Can be six, but we're thinking something around four months. And all patients will be treated in that, in that, with that sequence, which um, is accepted these days as a, one of the possible standard of care. Now, it would be critical to define what is locally advanced to begin with, and it will be very critical to define where we are after these four months. So for that reason, wrong and the, the analysis of imaging and have it in a centralized way so that we call the same, we all call things the same way would be critical. Um, there will be some patients, very few, that will progress during this, will develop metastatic disease. So those patients will go off the study at that time. And there will be a very few patients that will become clearly operable and will go to surgery. So those patients will be uh, taken off, and we will stick with the patients that have still locally advanced and resectable disease that maintain performance status and uh, everything else, and that uh, have not uh, developed disease progression. So the idea was to randomize this. Currently, the management of this patient is, is diverse. Some places in Europe mainly will continue chemotherapy and then will stop until they progress. Here in the US, some patients will be treated with chemoradiation. In the UK, they will be treated with chemoradiation. By doing more chemotherapy or more chemoradiation, you may rescue a few more patients and make them operable, unlikely. But after you are done with chemoradiation, the standard is to stop and wait for progression. And the majority of these patients will progress uh, at a distant uh, site. It appears that patients who receive radiation therapy, as compared to those that receive only chemotherapy, tend to develop less uh, local progression and more systemic progression. But at the end is, is progression. So uh, those patients, after four months, will be randomized to either conventional uh, treatment, which Again, we can argue if it is chemoradiation or continuing with chemotherapy, and this is to be a, a good point to, to discuss today. The way we have designed the study is to proceed with chemoradiation, a standard external beam radiation with capsitabine as per the scallop uh, regimen, or the cell in a box 
with um, a false, a phosphamide um, as done in the pilot uh, studies. And then those patients will be, after chemo radiation, will be again evaluated. Those who have chemo radiation or cell in a box will be evaluated. Those who have resectable disease, of course, will go to have surgery. And those who don't, which will be again the majority, will be followed. And the primary endpoint of the randomized study will be progression free survival or time to failure after, after that uh, um, randomization. <coughs> um, secondary endpoints will be, of course, response rate, uh, overall survival, tumor marker, and what uh, talking with Dan, what we thought would be also an important endpoint will be to, to um, look at time to pain or pain control in those patients who may have pain. And in terms of, of biomarkers, uh, the idea is to incorporate a, a SMAT4 um, gene mutation analysis because of the idea that uh, the patients who have mutant tumors are the ones that tend to develop more metastatic disease. So this is uh, the, key, the key issues. I think I have gone through the, through the end um, um, more or less, and I would like now to, to open this uh, design for comments and and um, and discussion